<laughs> and we're not really really too worried about being slow, are we? In this in this particular setting. I am. You are? I'm very so worried that... about it being slow. Okay, so Yeah. That's I mean, my my entire thesis is hey, this is really, really slow. How do we make this faster? <laughs> <laughs> and and how do you do it? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Uh you you do it by uh, by 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 knowing what what the underlying cryptography looks like, so this is kind of a, a thing that I alluded to earlier with this like big collaboration. But uh, you know, especially in the case of you know things like homomorphic encryption, the way the way people tend to to treat this problem is we've got a crypto system or we've got an encryption scheme that gives us you know a fixed set of functions that we know how to evaluate, right? Maybe you know how to add and multiply, and maybe that's it. Uh, and this is this is complete. This is enough. Whatever whatever uh, program you have, you can express it as like a big circuit that uses adds and multiplies. Uh, and so then the compilers people say, okay, we know how to take programs and translate them into circuits. We've been doing this for decades. And the crypto people say, we know how to take circuits. We know how to evaluate them gate by gate. Uh, and then okay, you just like combine these together and you get something that works, but it's really really slow because like every single gate evaluation is like you know, four or five orders of magnitude slower than it should be. Uh, but where where my work comes in is like there's there's a lot of like neither of these communities are really operating at their full capacity if that makes sense 